All Filipinos are corrupt. Oh, well, all Filipinos. I'm bringing this up because I get really irritated by people that come out with this crap. Um, they normally have an issue somewhere. They've been ripped off by their partner. They've um, got an issue relating to being in the Philippines at some time. So they're very childish about it. Rather than going, okay, my ex-wife was an absolute nightmare, blah, blah, blah. They'll go, oh, all Filipinos are bad. All Filipinos. They're not all bad at all. Um, what I will say, though, a lot of the demographics that people were um, choose to be with are not the best in the country. This is why I say, you know, the education is important, where people were brought up, um, because education brings morals, brings ethics, brings integrity. Um, the country's got corruption issues. So has every country on the planet. Just because in the Philippines they can, it's very, very in your face. I see the same people that grumble about Filipinos grumbling about their own politics in their own countries because it's riddled with corruption. Politics is. It's a dirty, dirty um, industry in every country. So just because it's in your face um, doesn't make it any worse or better than your own countries in that case. Now, where people are often getting these problems are is... Joe Bloggs goes on the internet, finds a woman of his dreams, um, may get scammed online because they don't bother doing any of their homework. They start sending money to somebody they don't know. But I love her. You don't know her. Um, it may, you don't even know it is a her. Um, the next ones you will get are the ones that go there. Things aren't as they, they were expecting and don't like it anymore. Uh, normally they set up their little dream and they start to see money disappear etc etc it all comes down to research it all comes down to understanding the person you wouldn't move in with the girl two streets down or whatever that you only met online unless you actually knew them you know you'd have to have some engagement so why would you go halfway around the world to do exactly the same the, the whole reflection here is you made the mistake and blame culture really annoys me because what we have in the Western society, and I will say the US is responsible for getting this nonsense into the UK because we didn't used to have it, is we will turn around and blame somebody. We will not turn around and say, it's my fault, I'm an idiot. We'll go it's a country, it's the government, it's somebody, it's everybody but me. The fact is, it is you. It is you. And when you do it again, you will no doubt blame somebody else again. Look in the mirror and just go, oh, I made a mistake there. doesn't matter how good or bad that person is. At the end of the day, you're the person that has to go, yeah, that was me. I made a mistake. Why did I? Why didn't I listen to the what, what I was thinking inside? Because all these things can be avoided. I've, I've spoken to, uh, spoken about it before because I know uh, Philip Patrick's had this same. Where because Philip's got well, he used to have a restaurant on Mactan. He used to get a lot of the people that are new arrivals. So they would come and see his restaurant and they would do these things and he would be well. Hang on a minute. Uh, why are you spending so much money? Why are you buying this jewellery? Why are you doing it? Oh, but she loves me. Slow down there a bit. You hardly know. You're having all this big celebration. You're not even getting married. Yeah, but it's all it's all right. Everything's going to be fantastic. week later, no money, no girlfriend, no marriage coming up. They've just milked them dry. Doesn't mean the, per the uh, country's bad. It means there's bad people in the country, but also means the guy was very stupid because he had some very good advice there, ignored it because he knew better at that time. But now, obviously, it's the country's fault. It's not It's not his fault, obviously. He had the advice there. And we know because we, we've seen it time and time again. But it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with the country as such. When you, it happens to you, the person who has caused it is you. We know these issues exist. 
don't assume it will not happen to me. Because this is where this bitterness comes from, from these people that troll around the internet whining. They have some issue where they turn around and had a problem somewhere and blame everybody but themselves. And it's very, very sad and uh, I'm tired of hearing it. If you're going to whine about something, at least turn around and go, I'm an idiot because this is what happened to me. That has a bit of a positive outcome because the next person looks at whatever you wrote, put on the video, etc. and go, ah, well, I'll have to watch for that because how else do you get a learning curve? This is this whole thing about blame somebody else in the West um, because it doesn't improve things. It's all a false thing. It's a bit like you've got to have positive um, commenting and stuff like that. I don't mind negative com uh, comments, but they have to be structured. You can't go, the Philippines is a trashy country. Why? Why do you think that? Because if you went, I think it's a trashy country, in my opinion, because Ma Manila stinks, and it's full of corruption, and at the airport this happened to me, etc. At least there's some structure in there. Just go, it's trashy, I hate it. It's like, what, are you five? You know, if you're going to come out with a statement, Follow up with the reasoning behind it, because the fact is, all it does is makes you look stupid. Otherwise, because what happens is people go, he's got a chip on his shoulder about something. He's either trolling or something's happened to him, but he doesn't want to talk about that. He just wants to sit there and whine about everything. That's why it's important to turn around and structure it. And I've already had somebody complain that I've deleted their comments. It's because you wrote crap. I'll be honest with it, racist crap, and I won't have it. I don't need it, and it's not, oh, you're biased because of this. It's not to do with bias. If you write racist nonsense, I will delete it. It doesn't matter who it's about, it will get deleted. It's as simple as that. If you turn around and say, well, I hate all Muslims on Mindanao because, then you've made a statement. Because it, it could be related to something that happened to you specifically. But to generalize I won't have it because it doesn't make any sense it's just pure racism it just shows a low level of uh, intelligence um, so I'll leave that at that but the whole point here is have a bit of a thought before you comment and I don't mind comments that are like well I don't I don't feel safe there because of all the problems with that's going on around the world relating to the Muslim populations etc because at least you're actually saying, I don't feel f f safe around Muslims. Because that, that's not a racist thing. That is more a case of, I don't personally feel safe around them. Because it's, a, it's um, connected with other stuff you've seen and heard. But just to say, I hate all of them. And then have no grasp of why. It, it, it just is pure racism. That's it. It's as simple as that. And I know this is very sounds a bit PC, but what I'm trying to do is actually turn around and say, look, you know when you actually do make these comments, if you actually expanded them out to the re uh, reasoning behind it, you'll probably find you get more people listen to you and probably less people ban you. Because um, it's not just for my YouTube channel. I'm sure you're doing it all over the web. But the whole point is, if you turn around and say, well, I have a personal issue relating to this because that's that's a far deeper level. Now, I find that far more useful. And I know a lot of other people would struggle to just delete the post then because you've actually made it justifiable to keep it there. Just going, I hate, hate, hate. It's just getting deleted. We didn't join the far right party. You're on the wrong YouTube channel. Um... Anyway, that's a bit of a rant for this morning, but yeah, and yeah, if you make a mistake in life, acknowledge it. Now, the woman may be a nightmare, she may be the worst person you've ever met in your life. I've, I've met them, and they, they haven't, they, my problems have not been in the Philippines, it's actually been in the UK with it a long time ago, um, but I hold my hands up to it and go, that was a bad time, bad person. Um, I wish I never meet anybody like her again in my life. But I hold up to going, 
I made a mistake of getting involved with somebody like that. I should have known better. Because that way, you progress in life. If you turn around and go, well, it's all her fault because she was crazy or whatever, then you ain't going to progress. Because this is why a lot of people make the same mistakes through life. They'll have like four or five marriages because they'll keep marrying the same, same type of woman that conflicts with them. You know, they have a certain belief or whatever that this connection... But there's problems in that connection for the previous marriages, and it just continues. It doesn't actually improve, and that's that's why you just end up making the same mistakes over and over again. Anyway, thanks for watching.